hello internet you care as you can see the camera is um, acting up again because it's dark because northern sweden because winter all that stuff no i don't know why i mention it all the time anyway um Necken has come really far since I started in, in March and I just started realizing how far I've actually become, how far I've actually come with the game. I haven't gone anywhere, I'm still here, so I haven't become anything. Um, but the game has come super far because in the end, in the, beginning i was not really sure what i wanted to do and i had this idea that i want to make the new nicken into the old nicken but more more exploration that was basically it i wrote it down on on like the first page of my book like i want this to be more exploration but otherwise the same and the game started out the same it the game design was pretty much the exact same for a long time mostly because i didn't know what i wanted to do i didn't know what i wanted the game to be and that is kind of like the game's evolved over this year that i've been working on it and it has evolved so much and it kind of has become something that i didn't even realize i was making in the first place so a lot of stuff that's in the game and like the game itself is more than I or different from what I first anticipated from when I first started designing this game and I th think that's a good thing because they I don't like the thought of, of designing a complete game having it all on paper and just then just making that game um, I don't think that would be as much fun as building something, exploring that mechanic and exploring that set of mechanics and see where it goes. Like the rabbit hole thing. Just um, go, with the, go with the game, see where it takes you. Uh, see if the game is interested in becoming something else and just help out as much as you can. Um, sounds super cheesy, but it, kind of have to follow like the, the game is kind of your baby and you have to just make sure that it's all right that it's taking care of itself and that it has everything that it needs and then just see what the game can become super corny but hey what do you know um so yeah the game has come has come far gone come far the game is good is getting better <laughs> I was supposed I was about to say that the game was good but the I don't know. Well, should just edit this part out, I guess. Um so this last couple of weeks I've been working with scope, like player scope. Um for like since I started or rather like in the absolute beginning of the game um, you only played one level and the game was that level um, you went from one end to the other and when you got out that was the game and uh, I soon realized that well that's not big enough so I need to make either make the level super huge and unlock new areas and stuff like that kind of like a metroidvania ish and that was interesting, but I didn't really follow that mechanic. Uh, instead, I chose to have level-based areas or whatever you want to call them. So I set up, um, I don't know, six levels, six areas into one, like that's the game. So so the, the game is now these six areas. And when you complete all the six areas, you are done with the game. And that's been the case up until now. And I've always known it, but I haven't really done anything about it. But six levels in the game is not that far. So it's about five minutes for each level or each area. And if you have six of them, well, that's half an hour of fun. 
if you don't die and if you just uh, run through the whole game and if you well if you know the game a bit better then there's like five minutes of average playtime per area so that's not enough i mean it is a roguelike and and roguelikes kind of thri thrive when there's replayability so that you as a player you continue to play the same stuff over and over again because you know that i don't know you're unlocking stuff or unlocking new areas and uh, things like that and well while i had these six areas my playtesters were playing the whole thing and some of them completed it and most of them didn't but i think i know why uh, or there's a couple of reasons why but a couple of them did complete it and it's fun but it's still not enough so these like i said these last couple of weeks i've been working on like adding like making the game into something more so before i had these six levels six areas i don't know why i keep mixing these words six areas and right now i'm calling this a loop so six areas is a loop and that's what i introduced right now so you are playing five or six or whatever number you want to pick um, let's say six loops that's the whole game so from beginning to end you're playing six loops and each loop is six levels areas fuck <laughs> hopefully that makes sense i will add some pretty pictures here so so that you can understand what i'm what i was trying to say and i think this is a good thing to do because you can add or like i already added like a world map so you're in the world map you pick your your loop that you want to play and then you play through all the areas in that loop and then you go back to the map and choose a different one and uh, right now i'm working with progression in terms of like mostly in terms of content right now so content progression <laughs> so that on the first level you can only get wood and on the second level you unlock stone so you can get stone as well and then you can start crafting stone based weapons and after that you unlock the copper and all all of my new resources that i added and um, same thing with enemies so you unlock more enemies the further you get into game um, new places new tiles new difficulty levels and and all that stuff so just distributing everything i've created in terms of content throughout these six different loops and uh also balancing all the weapons because right now like my game is the best way to describe my game right now is that i've put my car into the garage and i've pulled out the engine and disassembled it completely so i have a car but it doesn't run you can't borrow it from me because it well the, the engine is in, in a billion pieces and that's kind of what the game is like right now so everything in terms of balance is disassembled and i'm trying to put the pieces back together uh, and as i said content wise i'm almost done so right now i need to focus more on like the balancing stuff um in terms of weapons and uh, balancing the damage and health that they have and the costs and all that all all those juicy bits and i added like previously previously god previously i had about 20 weapons distributed across my different resources stone um copper and iron my eye is killing me god and now i introduced wood weapons and i introduced new stone weapons so instead of a stone sword you'll be using stones sharp stones stone spears 
spears, <laughs> stone spears, and uh, like stone club and and more realistic stone based weapons. So that kind of fucked my balance, my my weapon balance. And right now, I also introduced four new resources: um, tin and bronze and coal and steel. So I need to use, no, I need to make uh, even more weapons. So I need to make bronze weapons, probably tin weapons, and also steel weapons. There won't be any coal weapons, so, because um, that would just be weird. Um, so I need to add even more resource-based weapons, and that will make it even harder to balance. So. I have that in front of me as well and um, trying to figure out how to do that in a good way and um, basically just setting everything up in a in a state where okay it's not good but it works um, and then after that I can play test and tweak it and um, see what needs to be fixed and all stuff like that and um, I think that's that's the way to go. So I'm feels like I'm beginning to see the end of the tunnel and I've been talking about it. Not sure how much I mentioned it on, on my videos, but I've been talking about it at home and uh, with friends and stuff like that. And I kind of want to have something to publish by the beginning of 2018. And at first I was aiming for an early access. Right now, I'm not so sure anymore, but maybe early access, I don't know. But I will most definitely publish a demo at least, so you can play the game, or at least a part of the game, just to see if it's something that you are interested in. And uh, then just continue working on the game and completing the last parts. And uh, yeah, so I have pretty much all the mechanics in the game that I need right now. Oh, that pizza, God. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have pretty much everything I need in the game. I just need more polishing, more balance, more content still, and uh, stuff like that. Adding more enemies. And... Uh, new art for the world map and some kind of unlocking system because right now everything is unlocked so you need to i need to uh, gate that in a good way so so you need to complete level one loop one to be able to play loop number two or something like that and uh, i'm also continue continuing working with the musician and he is work <laughs> is working on on some of the main themes of the game and we we have found a couple of references that we that we like to have in the game and, and it will be really interesting to see what he has created and um, hopefully I'll be able to showcase some of that stuff soon as well but uh, right now it's um, it's back to work Balancing stuff. Yay. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And also make coffee because I like coffee. Yeah. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you again next time. Goodbye.